Welcome back to another episode of Spicy Tales Podcast with Kim and Stacy. Hello. So, what's up? Um, you have a spicy tale today? Ooh, I have a spicy okay. tale. Because <laughs> some of us are on theme. Okay? <laughs> this one's off brand, but it's fine. But anyways, so... <laughs> This is actually so funny. Oh, my stomach just growled. Um, this is actually she knows so... what you're gonna talk about. So this is like I want to say like seven years ago or something mm-hmm. like that. So I have a cousin who I love. She's super chill, whatever, mm-hmm. and she's very much younger than me. This is the same cousin. Very that much. Was... She's even younger than me. Yeah, that was. This is the same cousin that this one was like. Ah, you do fuck shit with her, but you want to do fuck shit with me, and I was yes. like. It's not the same. You're my baby. Um, but anyway, so one day me, her, and my friend Kelly decide we're all going to go out. So we go out, go downtown, have a great time, whatever. And at the time, Kelly was dating an older guy mm-hmm. who, like, had his own place. Like, a huge, like, and we're, like, I think I was, like, 20. It's giving sugar daddy. Nah, he wasn't real. <laughs> like, he was just a regular, regular guy. Like, just regular, regular. Uh. And he had a car, and he owned his own home and had a pool, so... Especially when you're younger, that's yeah. Like, I was like 25. All like, in. I was like, Liddy, we get to go hang out in. I your mean, shit. Even now, that's balling. <laughs> get to go hang out at your your boyfriend's house, and he has a pool. Yeah. And he drives like that's great. I mean, the driving. Well, at the yeah, time, I exactly. didn't have my own car. I drove, just didn't have my own car. But anyways, so we go out. We go downtown. We go to the strip club, in true form, you know. And then her boyfriend comes to pick us up, so we go back to her boyfriend's house. And there's like a bunch of us. Like there's like. I think there's like five, six or seven of us. Oh, that's and we're all chilling, whatever. And then, so, of course, because we're degenerates, one of the girls is like, oh, I have mushrooms. Like, let's do mushrooms. This is pre what had happened. Why stop doing mushrooms? Right. So, like, yeah. So, like, we're all having a good time. Like, we're smoking. We're drinking. The girl brings mushrooms. We make a bunch of grilled cheeses and, like, put the mushrooms inside. Like, so, yeah. Ugh. Listen, you you can't just eat mushrooms like this. I disgusting. have, I have, but They're you can disgusting. also put it in tea. You can, you can put it in tea. I never really thought to do that. Me neither, until I heard I feel, someone doing it. I feel like putting it in tea, it would be a little bit too concentrated, right? Like or a lot. Longer... But then again, you're eating it, so what's the yeah, difference? You're right. Like, Honestly. right? I don't know. I don't know why my brain thinks that, but anyways, so we're like, one of the girls is like, let's let's do some mushrooms, whatever. So we make a bunch of grilled cheese. Like we're in the pool, we're having a good time, mm-hmm. everything's great. And then all of a sudden, like. We get out of the pool and like one of the girls is like sitting on the couch. My cousin's sitting on the couch, but my cousin is like not moving. And I'm like, bro, like you good? <laughs> like she's literally like, I wish I could like, she had like both her legs like up like this on the couch and she's Aww. tiny. Like she's so little and she's just like chilling and like, but she's not like, she's not like bad tripping or anything. She's okay. just not really moving like and it's like to the point that like i can't how were her eyes like was she looking at you her eyes were kind of like this because we had also Also smoked smoked. so like she was kind of like double whammy you know and so like whatever i go sit next to her and all of a sudden it just feels like everything is like like moving like this like Mm -hmm. like a wave you know Mm -hmm. like and we're all just sitting there and it's like okay like i could feel it you know Mm -hmm. like i'm i'm feeling did you feel the stomach pain at all no like i felt great like everything was good this is why i did mushrooms again like this is why i thought i was about the mushroom life like these are the experiences that made me think i was about that life Mm -hmm. until the last one i was like i am not about that life (laughs) no when it goes wrong it goes horribly wrong yeah bro and you know me you know my you know my take on things like this i'm like let's go balls to the wall and if it works out it works out and if it doesn't then next time we take less you know like that's usually my even though with the mushrooms you're like no I i'm not hit because... balls to the walls and that's enough for me listen it's one thing to puke that's one thing but for it to come the other end the other end like i can't like i can't <laughs> let that happen again like you're i can't risk out of that. control that, i can't risk that that's what i'm saying like, right. that can't be something you play with like Shitting your pants once is enough, you know. Like you don't need. I to mean, be... I shit my pants not on mushrooms, so. Yeah, but you're probably sick. Like ah, uh, yeah, sure. I had like bubble guts, yeah. But I was on. My... I t- I think I talked about it, but I was walking from the bus stop on a winter day, so. <laughs> I remember that. That was hilarious. Anyways, <laughs> enough about shitting our pants. <laughs> So bad. But anyways, so we're like vibing, whatever. And I'm like trying to get her to like, you know, like trying to like get her to feel better. I'm mm-hmm. like, do you want this? Do you want that? She's like, no, 
no she's like honestly i kind of just want to like take a bath mm-hmm. i'm like and then her boyfriend's like oh i have like a jacuzzi like like size tub mm-hmm. upstairs like you can go like take a bath if you want mm-hmm. and like this man is super nice like he's just like some white guy super nice probably had never dated a black girl in his life right so we all go upstairs to like make sure she's good but then like once she gets in me and my friend are like shit that looks like really nice like i like i'm really high so i'm just like damn like i kind of want to be in there too and she's like just come in it's fine (laughs) and so me and her look at each other and we're like fuck it get in the tub with her basically so the three of us are chilling in the tub and then she's like literally butt naked all three of us just (laughs) naked as hell and like we're just what happened to the other people they were downstairs chilling like i don't know what the fuck they everyone was downstairs like we just came upstairs like we came upstairs to put her in the tub Mm -hmm. and then ended up in the tub with her so like we're just like laying there and i'm just like this like chilling and it's like nice warm water Mm -hmm. and i'm like you know what would make me really comfortable and she's like what i'm like taking my wig off (laughs) And she's like, oh, my God, me too. And so all three of us proceed to take our wigs off. The most black shit. (laughs) Sitting there in our wig caps. The wigs are just chilling on the, like, ledge of the... Looking like like a swim team, like... (laughs) Bro, don't... Okay. Stop it, okay? Like, stop. Anyways, so then we're, like, chilling, wigless, naked in the tub, like, living our lives. Her boyfriend comes up with, like, little snacks. He's like, you guys good? Was it a horror movie, the reaction? No, we were, like, he was just like, oh, like, all three of you are here? Like, didn't even mention the wigs. Didn't Didn't say a word. And I was like, at this point. like he's really cool like that was he's like invited I was like, to the cookout oh 100 percent. like 100 percent. like that i mean they're not together anymore but like you know like he's invited to the cookout you know honorarily yeah. i mean if we saw him he can't come because like you know he broke up with my friend but yeah whatever but yeah so he comes That's up hilarious. with snacks whatever bro when i tell you that was, was great. that best, sounds like a good time it's the best experience i've ever had on mushrooms mm. and which is why i really was out here wilding out the next time yeah because that was the that was next the time, time. B- yeah, that was the next time. Because, yeah. like, I never, I don't really, like, mushrooms was never something I was like, ooh, let's do it all the time. Right. Like, it was really, like, just, like, sparse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I really thought I could handle it. Could not. Yeah. Well, things are different now. I don't know who provided those mushrooms that time. I, you also said that you, I, you guess you weren't in the right environment. Or yeah, because at mind. the time, like I didn't really know the person. Like I know them better now, and like mm. now, if I did mushrooms with them now, I'd probably be fine. Mm. But at the time, like I had a really bad trip already because I think I was in an unfamiliar environment. Yeah, exactly. And if there's one thing about you mushrooms, you need to be comfortable. Yeah. Like you can't be doing that shit out here while and out yeah. with strange people like you need to be around people you're comfortable with and even if you're comfortable there's been times where it's like it's basically whatever you're feeling or even suppressing mm-hmm. just decides to come out and you have absolutely no filter whatsoever like emotional filter yep. uh literally anything i heard a story about this guy uh this girl and guy went on a date and they took mushrooms. That's terrible. And she was just like, yeah, this guy literally told me how he felt about me. And it was good things, but he just said too much. Like, he was literally sounding like a crazy person. Oh, my God. Oh no. <laughs> Whereas you if you were in your, you know, if you were just sober, you'd be like, oh, yeah, like, I fucks with you or something, you know? But no, he was just like, I love you. So like, it's one of those. Oh, it's no. Very, like, everything is emphasized. You can't be doing so mushrooms much. like that yeah. when you're like especially with someone like you're not very familiar with or some like if you're going to be divulging information like that keep it don't be doing mushrooms around those people like that's yeah crazy. exactly because if you have a you're holding on to a secret like that shit that's on. getting it's out. it's out although i'm the worst when i if i if you tell me a secret while i'm high <laughs> i'm a hundred percent telling hundred percent because i bro the amount of times yo the gemini you're almost like oops Oopsies. Yo, one time the Gemini told me something and like being stupid, I repeated it to her boyfriend and she's like, and he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, what? <laughs> you know, it's messed up Bro. when you even messed up. You're like, what? <laughs> and then her, she calls again. She's like, did you tell him? Th-? I was like, should I specifically told you not to? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You never said that. Oh, she's not like, the gaslighting. She's like, <laughs> my mom was there when I told you. I was like, was I smoking? She's like, yes. I'm like, why would you tell me oh, that? Like, my what, God. Why okay, would you well, tell me that's learned, your clearly. fault? Oh, my God. 
you t- no accountability um i apologize <laughs> i didn't mean to but like why would you tell me something while why i would you <laughs> Why would you think that that was an appropriate time to tell me anything? If I'm intoxicated, don't tell me nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat. But did it. you repeat it that same day? No, oh, it was like a it was on. like a while later. Like I don't even remember when she told me this. Yeah, like I think it was like weeks later. Yeah, I was like, she's like, my yeah, mom just was there. know a lot of times if you tell me a secret, I'm probably telling my sister or my boyfriend yeah so anyone, most likely both anyone <laughs> anyone out there who's told my sister something bitch i know <laughs> and you ain't shit <laughs> oh gosh all I'm, your friends are like, like the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? that bitch i told her not to tell anyone uh okay so let's see what we could talk about here um lori harvey yeah, I. Well, there's nothing to say. The subscription has run dry. Mm-hmm. She's done. On to the next. What's his people name? Are, just, oh, I don't fucking know his name. Uh, people he's are. The guy, so, he's the actor from Snowfall. People are so butthurt that they broke down. up. Uh, what's his name? It's Idris Damson. Yeah, I didn't know that. People are very upset that they broke up. Uh, honestly, at this point, I kind of lose track of time. So I didn't know that they've been dating for a, a year, which is crazy because she dated Michael Jordan, B. Jordan for a year as well. And That's the subscription time. <laughs> you get your year and then it's over. Wrap it the fuck up. Yeah, she's really out here uh, living her best. Yeah, life. she's dating. But usually when you're dating something, someone, it's more just day ding it's more short term but she'll actually do the one year but i feel like with future p diddy she didn't because they're the Stace, top of the fuck Stace. boy icons stacy as uh, you were saying mount rushmore is a fuck boy so. literally mount everest is future okay <laughs> that man is crazy as hell no p, D- p. diddy's high up he's like he's yeah, top that's true p diddy's pretty bad <laughs> and he got carisha drinking the juice i don't know what's going on yeah, out here I know, but he's 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 setting her up though too. Second time she won uh best like hip hop podcast. Oh yeah 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 yeah. People are yeah, mad people about People are big that. mad because she only does like seven episodes a year. But like you know the connections are real. It's okay. If Don't you hate if play, you're sleeping game, with you know? P Diddy, like you're gonna start winning things. You're gonna be winning in life. Just your mental health is gonna take a hit. That's all. <laughs> a very big hit. Like oh my gosh. Because till this day he still talks about Kim Porter is the one. Well. I mean, so didn't she birth his twins? Yes. Is it just the twins? Maybe the one that looks just like him too. What's his name again? Christian. I Christian Combs. I don't know. (laughs) I think his name. Yeah, because the the light skin is Justin Combs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the light skin. Yeah, he has a light skin one. Is that not like? No, Quincy's not his child. I know Quincy's not his child. Yeah, I know, but I that's no, he has he has his own light skin. Oh. He birthed in a, a light skin. He birthed Well, he had There you go. <laughs> Cuz I know P Diddy didn't birth nothing. Okay. <gasps> but yeah, Lori Harvey's just doing what guys do. She's dating around. Yeah, man. I I don't thing. hate on that. I love that for her. And do plus thing, she's girl. got she's got that privilege where people like even though I'm sure some people call her a hoe, but it's very clean. Yeah, but the people who are and, calling her a hoe, she doesn't care. Right? Like she's she's like almost okay. I I don't want to disrespect her, <laughs> but she's almost like minus the sex tape of Kim Kardashian. Yeah, because it's like it's just on to the next one and it's fine. Kind of like a Taylor Swift too, on to the next oh one and it's God. fine. Taylor like, Swift, like she's another one. I saw a clip with her uh, just running into. T- uh, what's his name? Travis Kelsey's arms. It looks like real love. Like they make you feel like it's real love all over again. Like they give you a short term memory loss. So like if you can do it, and plus she still has so many suitors. She's probably yo the line got longer. Mm-hmm. She came back. At- you know how people come back. And- yo, this is how you know we are not like gorgeous, okay? Because usually when you come out from dating someone. The dating pool, like being in a relationship, the dating pool is dry. You're like, ew, the ghetto. Like, this is ratchet. Like, this girl has so many more suitors. Okay, but like, the quality of men that she, like, they, that she has access to are way better than the fucking. Oh, yeah. She literally has here. the top echelon lineup <laughs> of men. Me, Why the would of... you not go, like, exactly. date around? That, might as well. That makes people, the most sense. People in our caliber of life are not trying to date around because. No, because. 
a dating bad look. pool has piss in it. Exactly. Okay. And, and it's a bad look. And you're just like, I'm down if I do down. Like, she literally is so privileged that she can choose the perfect man for her. Good luck, sis. I don't think it's going to happen. Because yeah. <laughs> she actually, well, actually, no, she's younger. She, she's in her 20s. Who? Lori uh, Harvey. Lori Harvey. Yeah. Because I was going to say, she doesn't really date much older, but P. Diddy was much older, but she also wasn't in a relationship with him. But with Michael B. Jordan, I think he was a good 10 years yeah, older Yeah, he was 10 her. years older yeah. than her. Which is probably why he probably wanted to settle down. She was like, whoa, yeah. easy, bro. Maybe she'll circle back to him. Maybe. I have hope that she's going to circle back to him. I like them together. I like them together, too. He just doesn't have a bad reputation. They look and great. Steve Harvey loves him. Exactly. You saw that clip of yeah, him, like, hugging. embracing each other. I'm yeah, like, ah, like, you're... Your boyfriend's probably so mad right now to All see the that clip. Any man she's going to date is going to be so jealous of that shit. Like, they're going to Yeah, exactly. And, like, guys are already mad at Michael B. Jordan, period. Just for being there. Exist, just for it breathing, just for existing. Like, so like literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally. So, Lori Harvey, do your thing. You're living, we're, we're living vicarious, vicariously through you. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. To be a fly in the wall at Lori Harvey's bedroom, you know? Also, I saw that Pusha T. So, okay. Ugh. So, Pusha, ah, T, Pusha T. No, this is actually kind of insane, but I think I heard this before. But anyways, clips get recirculated. Basically, Pusha T and his brother wrote the jingle to McDonald's. Pa -da -pa -pa -pa, I'm loving it. Really? And they gave them a one-time cut, $1 million, and they split it. 50 50 so they got five hundred thousand dollars each and this was like 20 years ago so yeah. like you hit the lottery like they're giving you five hundred thousand imagine they gave us five hundred thousand dollars 20 years like that's real money that okay? is real money that <laughs> like was, it's not that fun this funny money money it's like, not that's that crazy. monopoly money we got now yeah here, literally okay? monopoly like money. that was some real money and i completely understand why they took it but he said that's his biggest regret in life as it should like I'd he didn't he doesn't get that. royalties. He doesn't he doesn't have any ownership of that. He he made his art, mm. he gave it away, he has no rights to it. And literally McDonald's is known by that jingle. It's yeah. actually insane That's that Pusha T That's a very big bag loss. Huge, huge, huge. bag. And so Humble. he advocates but at the for same time, ownership and always. Yeah, but reading. at the same time, back in the day and even um who was it? LL Cool J made this comment mm -hmm. and people like because like younger rappers, younger like um, artists make comments like was make one of someone was making a comment hating on like the old generation of rap and whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you guys have no idea that and hindsight is 2020. No, but he was saying back in the day, <clears throat> people were not investing in rap music the way right. they do. They weren't right. investing in hip hop the way that so they do now. Your... He's like, they're the reason that you're even able to get these big ass deals. Yep. Like these deals didn't come to rappers yep. and things like yep. that. Hip hop for all that. They had to pave the way for you guys to even be able to get yep. to an opportunity where where a label is offering you a million dollars or two or three, whatever, you know? So it's like, you need to have respect. And yeah. even for and learn T, And learn from their mistakes. Yeah, and Pusha T made that mistake so that other people wouldn't have exactly. to make that mistake. Exactly. And like you said, he advocates for people having, like, owning ownership, their yeah. ownership to their music and their shit. Like, and that's why I respect also all the rappers that preach, like, a positive message to their community. Um, What's his name? Nipsey Hussle was yeah, also an, was heavy sure. on ownership. And he's been talking about ownership like throughout his whole career. And I feel like the people that have been um, pushing this for years, like they just were wise beyond their years. Obviously, Pusha T, he, he learned from that mistake. But it's just crazy to think that like hip hop um, uh, influenced McDonald's. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that's insane. That's crazy. Oh. You know what? That McDonald's bag is crazy, though. Like, if someone's willing to pay you a large amount of money, just know that shit is worth more than that. More than that, yeah. So, sure. Just so you know. Um, You said the thing about Monopoly money, and it made me think about when we went to Horrible Decisions podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to uh, the Toronto show. Yeah. I had a great time. Great time. Great time. 
before I even continue, uh, Vinny called me cute. He did. He walked by. That's one of the co-host's best friend. Best friend. He was like, I'm seeing the night, whatever. Walked by my chair, looked back and said, ooh, girl, you cute. And I was like, ah! (laughs) So fuck you, haters. Because Vinny called me cute. They're like, Vinny who? Literally. Please Vinny from me. Jersey Shore. <laughs> okay. Not that Vinny. <laughs> but anyways, uh, they had a stripper that mm-hmm. came up, and she was amazing. She was like, amazing. she was so good. Yep. I forget what her name is, and I wish I could remember, but maybe yep. Stacey will include a little clip of her dancing yes. right here. Um yeah. But yeah, so she was super good. So people started throwing money on the stage. And then Wheezy comes out and she's like, the fuck is this money? She's like, I thought this was Monopoly money, but (laughs) it's real. No, that's real. And then what killed me was Mandy's like, oh shit, y'all blues is fives, ours is hundred. And I, (laughs) blue face, baby, five bucks. (laughs) Not here, baby. And I was dying. But yeah, like, love the show. It was such a good time. Yeah. I would There's something ha- about throwing ones, though. Americans really got I had like a one. That. I had a one. You did have I a had one. one. I had an American one. And it one. was funny because yep. it was in my winter coat from last winter. Yeah, it was meant to be. And I, so I threw my little one on the stage. I wish I had more ones. I would have thrown more because yeah. she was really good. Yeah, she was. Um, but yeah, I would 100% go again. I kind of want to go to their New York, like the next time if they do a New York they, one. This is their last tour. I actually heard it on the podcast today. Well, that's fucking sad. La- but they who knows? Be. Who knows? People say it's the last and it's not. It's yeah. You mean like all the times fucking who was it that kept saying they were retiring and never did? Tom Brady? Fuck. Yeah. Tom Brady's been retiring Hang it up. 30 years. Tom Brady. Bro. No, don't tell him that. I like Tom. <laughs> I actually like Tom Brady too. Come back so I can talk more shit. But... I, I was talking mad shit about Tom Brady. Why? Because um, apparently he's a great guy, top tier athlete, best quarterback ever. Um, but he had been promising Giselle, yeah, that he was gonna retire. He never did, and he never did, and she left his ass, and then he retired, and now he's got a little girlfriend. Oh, well, maybe that's what he wanted. <laughs> maybe he just didn't want to be the bad guy and break up with her. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. But, uh, yeah, oh, my God. Football is... My boyfriend does fantasy. He's got oh several God. leagues. I almost got... So, I almost got freaking roped into the girls' fantasy football league. First of all, I'm not a is good... I like an oxymoron? Like, what is that? <laughs> One of my really good friends who I love dearly, Tiff, shout out, mm-hmm. uh, she has a group of girlfriends, and their husbands are huge into football, and they mm-hmm. do a fantasy football league. What was league. his team? The Jets? No, he's a, Mi- he's, he's a Miami Dolphins? Dolphins fan, yeah. Which were their colors at their wedding, which Blue I know it sounds white. crazy, but it actually looked so good. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so he, him and his boys are like super big, and all the wives start, wanted to do it this year together. Mm-hmm. So I was supposed to be part of that, but I had way too much going on. I had the weddings. Mm-hmm. I had to go to Toronto. I was like, listen, I can't devote the if amount of time. I played any fantasy team it'd have to be the 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 sport that i have the most knowledge on has to be probably basketball Basketball, football is just not i'll go i'll go off their looks i'm fucking dying like i have a crush on Derek carr literally kind of a trash quarterback but like i think he's so cute because he has sad eyes (laughs) because he has sad (laughs) eyes girl bye what are you talking about but I have learned so much about football. So now I always, every time there's an interception, I'm like, pick six. And my boyfriend's like, it's only Shut a pick the six hell up. if they get a touchdown. I just be yelling out for boyfriends. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Like, stop. I know it's like when I heard, when I learned the word blitzing, I'm like, ooh, they should use, they should Yo, blitz. And he's like, red zone. And I know red zone now. Yo, I, I actually love uh, football Sundays. It's fun. Yeah. It's like your, your emotion, it's an emotional roller coaster. People are getting Yo, injured all the time. Football fans are lit, though. Football fans, football they fans are, are the tailgates before the I, game. I went to a Seattle Seahawks, um, game at their arena and like literally I walked in and I felt the energy like everyone was yelling I was like whoa this is crazy even I think it was over the weekend I watched 
uh, I watched college football and I watched Michigan versus Penn State, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And like the crowd just looked so crazy. Like people are so hyped. It just looks like such a good time. Like I just want to be a part of football, like life. Life. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, my boyfriend's best friend watches. NFL and CFL yeah. and whatenever he talks about the CFL he's no he's like you know that blah 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 I'm like nobody care <laughs> we don't care I think he said Montreal and I forget who else made it to the finals and it's gonna be in like Les Alouettes I don't know, somewhere in the prairies and Green Day is performing or something and I'm like Green okay Day. Green Day that's cool that's cool I'm like what? when are they getting Drake Never, because the Super Bowl hasn't even gotten. <laughs> okay, I think the Super Bowl has better options. Like Usher, they're gonna, they're gonna do Drake. Like, they're gonna do Drake one day. Yeah, he's, when he's a legend, like when he's, he's already like, hit. He, no, I mean he when he has more like, number ones than Michael Jackson. Okay, fair, but I mean like when he reaches like Michael Jackson level, like respect. No, I mean. people, people like Shakira has been on it. J Lo's been on it. Stop. Shakira, everybody loves Shakira. She's I love Shakira icon. too. I love Shakira too. Shakira's an icon, and but she's not hitting. No, but she's still an icon. I understand, and so is just Drake. like Britney Spears is an icon. I don't know if she's ever done it before. I don't know if she has. Um, Janet, uh, Jan, I was gonna say, yeah, Justin Janet Timberlake Jackson. and Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson Christmas. is an icon. Yeah, like, I, I know Kim, but I'm just saying that. 50 Cent was on it like two years but ago. Wasn't he on Rihanna, it because of other? He was Dr. On it because Dre. Of, was, who was it that it was, was Dr. Dre, Mary well, J. Blige, Dre Eminem, icon. So you're Eminem telling, so icon. What right? you're gonna say is that Drake is not an is I like legendary. I, I, all I he's said in is the he same tier. He's not on the same tier as Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson. Like he's not okay, on that tier. Okay, so 50 Cent is no. He exactly. was a guest. Okay, well, Shakira and J Lo are like stop. J Lo, no, Shakira. It's, that's what I'm the saying. They underneath. just get people. All that's I all they know. do. I feel like Drake hasn't reached that. He has. Why? Because he has a plane. Kim Kardashian has a plane. Should she be on that fucking shit too? I mean, shit. What is she gonna do? Talk to us to death? I don't know what <laughs> she's gonna do, but she don't. She doesn't. He sing would. Or dance. He would. He would. He would definitely. He's. He's fine to go on. It's. He's not doing the CFL, basically, is what we're saying. Where he's not, he he's not. the CFL can never get Drake. I'm sorry. Watch the CFL do <laughs> everything in their power to get Drake just because like, Stacey, they're like, fuck you, Stacy. We're getting Drake. <laughs> they like go bankrupt trying to pay for Drake. But. Okay, Jada. J J oh. No, not even. It's, this is not even Jada. This is, this is Will Smith's ex assistant. Is he ex assistant? I thought he was their friend. He was well, he was an assistant and their friend, sure, because right. you're an assistant and you can't be a friend in our bubble. The, you can't be a friend if you're on the payroll. I'm sorry, I, I don't care. I said it. Well, he's you. A lot of times you put your family on the payroll, Stacy, to support. You said he was an assistant and became a friend. Yeah. So he was hired. It's not the same as putting. Yeah, my but friends. he's been their assistant for like twenty years. Like your family just, at this point. Was he just recently not their assistant? Like how? Yes, because oh, yes, and that's why he's doing this because basically he felt like he did business with Will about the book, and they didn't, and so he tried to shake them down, and it didn't work. So now he's on Tasha K's platform. Talking about Not how he walked it. into Will Smith's trailer and he was getting bum fucked by some man. What's and his honestly, name? Mar something Martin. It w the the person that was having sex with him. Yes. Oh, I don't remember. It was like I don't remember who I it was. It on my phone. I just googled it. I googled I, it I, I wanted, wanted to see clip, what he looked but, like. Uh, what yeah, but the assistant's name is the ex assistant's name is Dwayne Martin. And already, if you're on Tasha K, like you've lost all credibility because no, she. The ex assistant care. is Dwayne Martin, or that's the guy who he said he fucked. Because that's the okay, guy. Okay, yeah, that's the guy. Sorry, that he he said Dwayne Martin was topping Will Smith. And I so, don't believe that for a second. I was hoping he would make it kind of more believable and say Dwight Howard was topping Will Smith. <laughs> Because I feel like that makes more sense. You'll do anything to talk about <laughs> Dwight Howard's bullshit, eh? Like, you just I think Will Smith's too masculine for him. I don't think he would like that. For Dwight Howard? Yeah. That's probably true. Yeah. 
But like it's false. It didn't happen. Were You're you clearly... there? This is a legend. Okay, fine, true. And there, this man is clearly cloud chasing. One hundred percent. You're on Tasha K. This is the same platform that, um, talk mad shit about Cardi B to the Defam- point that, that they, she yeah, filed she a sued. defamation of character, character lawsuit and won like four. Well. She won $4 million. Is she ever going to see that $4 million? No, Probably never. Tasha K keeps saying she and, ain't got it. And Tasha K recently was crying, saying like, oh, like she, t- Cardi B's a good mom. She's actually completely flipping the script now. Yeah, she's trying to ask, she's trying to get Cardi back off on those fucking collection agencies. They be calling her every day. They want yeah. that $4 million, bro. Yeah. Is, is, is that what it is? Just like collections just I don't calling you? I actually don't know. Don't Different numbers. That's like how... Don't listen to me. That's I don't know. the extent know. of the harassment that Tasha K is getting financially. They're probably, they're probably repossessing her shit. Like, if she has yeah. any assets, like, they're probably And so that's why that. she needs her money. So she's out here giving a platform to... Yo, it's always, like, the ex-assistant, the it's ex just, It's crazy that she would even give this person the time of day. I mean, obviously, I know what her, like, platform is And about. she never... Obviously, she's not making these people say it, but she knows that people are so money-hungry and so thirsty for attention. Yo, clout is... A fucking drug. a drug. It's a new drug. They need to put it. Yo, they need to add that shit into the mental health manual, because whatever the fuck. No, for you to literally listen, I understand that people have falling outs, people mm-hmm. whatever. But for you to go on like any kind of platform and start bashing the people that used to that first fed of all, you that fed you fe- biting the hand that feeds you, bro. You will never succeed in life. That's mm-hmm. crazy because you don't know. You don't have respect. You can't be out here talking shit. Like, that's like me talking shit about my old employers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like, they had their trash moments, but I'll never because they paid my bills. For they a paid very my long bills time. at the end of the like, day. You can't be out here trashing people who fucking fed you and then have, and well, then making up allegations huge. like this. this. You're is- getting sued. Yeah. And it was hilarious because when Jada was getting in the fucking car after the Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, what are you going to do, Baba? She's like, we're suing. Period. And I am all for that. Period. Because and she's going to suck him dry. And then for what? For him, to, for him and Tasha K to both be panhandling to pay their fucking creditors? Stop this. Yeah. You're embarrassing yourself. It is. Like, you, you wanted popularity this much? Why don't you just post your pictures with Will Smith and tag him and then, like everybody else and call it a day? Exactly. But I, not need I, to yo, do being jealous, being in the shadows, like that also it will just build that resentment in you. Like you can never look like him. You can never be him. You were so close but not quite, you know? It's oh, one God. of those. I don't understand people like that. That's snakes crazy. in your grass, Will. Gotta cut them out. Cut starting the grass, with, bro. You gotta keep your... Starting with Jada. <laughs> I honestly I love Jada and Will Smith. I I think that they're perfect for one another. I think they're perfect for one another. What? I think they're perfect for one another. Oh my god. Yeah, I think they're perfect for one another. He's still supporting her. She's still supporting him. He's got her back. Yo, they're fine. They're just going through like this is just the second I think they've been married for, what, 20 years or something like that? Maybe even close to 30 years. So, like, you know, your your marriage goes through ups and down. This is clearly a down. The peaks and the troughs, this is a, a trough. But they're slowly going to come back up. They're, they're going to have a comeback story, guys. Don't you worry. If this is the love that they're talking about, I don't want it. Oh, and also, shit, we can... We could definitely fit this in. So DJ Academics. Oh, God. Actually, I guess it started with the City Girls. So the City Girls came out with, like, An one album. of their albums. Had no idea it was coming out. There was no marketing, no nothing for it. It flopped. So it got, like, 6,000 sales. And so DJ Academics got on his microphone that all of you guys hate that we're on our microphones. But he got on his microphone, and he's just like... You guys flopped. Ain't nobody looking for you. Blah, blah, blah. So then Saucy Santana, who is the City Girl's best friends. He's, he's Miami's best friend, no? He's, I think, well, I think he's kind of both of their best okay. friends, but like probably more Miami. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, he got online and he is a gay black man. And he told <sighs> DJ Academics to not only square up. But that to spread them cheeks. That after. he would take his cheeks. 
And you know, I talked to my boyfriend about this because I was like, oh "Well, God, what? How would you? Secret. How would you um, address this?" And he's like, "Well." At the end of the day, people can laugh, whatever. But this guy did threaten to sexually assault you, yeah, assault me, no, and bad. fight me. So like, that's a threat, and I'm allowed to defend myself. So if I wanted to say like, yeah, pull up, and like you'll see, you, like fuck around and find out, basically. But DJ Academics decided to go online, start getting all emotional about how. He's Jamaicans and we don't fuck with Batty Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and he a, was literally crying in tears yeah. because he was upset, frustrated of how homophobic he is and how he can't express how homophobic he is because he doesn't want to get canceled. That's literally what he was crying about. He wasn't he was crying about anything else other no. than the fact that he could not express how homophobic he is because he will get canceled. Yep, that's literally why he was crying. And I get it, because you know when you're frustrated? Yeah. But and honestly, so that's when like, you start to crying. friend to take someone's cheeks is a wild, it's wild. Threat. It That is a wild, is wild. Threat. And I agree that... Yeah, it's just hits different when you're a straight male and a gay male is threatened to sexually assault you because then it's like, like, pause, but also, like, for real, let's be for real, guys. Like, am I going to have to square up for this, with this guy? So I get it, but I... And I also get that Jamaicans are hella homophobic. They really are. Like, I'm well, pretty it's sure... it's not just it's, Jamaicans. Okay, it's but... Caribbean well, people, I'm just saying for him because... Caribbean people... I, it's Caribbean people. It's religious people. It's a lot of people. Yeah, let's like, be real here. And we are Caribbean, so we can yeah, only speak I, for us. And, and I'm Caribbean in Jamaica, it's hell, actually it's illegal, illegal to be yeah. gay. Like, you will... I don't know what they do to you if your game yeah like but, it's... so yeah he he literally said so i come to america and i have to act like i have to talk to you people i'm just like oh this is giving like <laughs> i have to talk to you people. he's like i have to pretend like you were the same like i'm like oh my god you sound like a racist white you man. sound like, like a white man who has to like <laughs> let the black lady like the use bigotry, the same bathroom as them the like, bigotry what's wrong? was on a hundred oh my god and he's scared to get canceled i'm like okay you know what lgbt has a lot of power apparently in these social media in the social media world because DJ Academics literally comes for anyone and doesn't care to get canceled. So I don't know why in this particular issue he was just like walking on eggshells like bro someone he's threatened you to, that's all that you need to know he's probably also afraid that saucy santana oh, is gonna spread no, no, his no, no, cheek no, no, no. saucy santana doesn't play he actually fights he, he was does. he grew up with gangbangers like yeah. he grew up fighting i looked up his height he's 5'10 and he's like built he's yeah, sturdy he's a sturdy like he might guy. have them cheeks and but them he's nails, also got them but don't hands, get it twisted bro, like, so like and I just don't see DJ Academics being a fighter at all. DJ He's Academics. Just like a hermit in the basement. DJ sure. Academics is a thick queen. <laughs> He's basically a thick bitch because that motherfucker oh. does not look like he fights. He looks like he came from Jamaica very young and he's had a privileged life. Yeah, he just talks mad shit. And yeah. I think he's hilarious. And I think I he's a great a internet troll. Yeah. So I was just confused as to why he was crying. It's like it's almost like when uh, Takashi 6 9 is crying on the internet. Like we don't That's care we kind don't of thing. Care. Like especially the, the worst part is... You are technically the victim in the situation, and you and ended up being like the bigot in the situation. But why are you crying about not being able to express your homophobia? Because he was frustrated. I Kel. get it, but to, I, why he would you post that? He you know what? Be gay no, I'm sorry. No, 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 openly. No. no, people need to start watching things before they post them. It was alive. Oh, he's oh, he's, he's fucked heavy fucked on up. streaming. He, he fucked up. Yeah, you can't do that. On Even the guy he was talking to was kind of laughing at him because at least he wasn't like, he wasn't sad. He was frustrated. No, for sure. I'm not laughing about him crying. I'm laughing. I'm about, laughing about him crying. I'm, okay, well, <laughs> fair. But I, that's not what I mean. I don't. I I don't mean like it's funny because he's a guy and he's crying. I just mean like the reason you're crying is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like. I can't be as bigoted as I wanted to. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, you're fucked. And, like, it takes away from me being, like, 
shocked that Saucy Santana would f- threaten to fucking assault you. Because- yeah, because, like, I don't think you're her. I don't even know why I said her. Sorry, Saucy. Uh, his type. I don't think you're Saucy's type you're not. whatsoever. You could never. You're a thick bitch. He's not into that. He's not into bitches. He's definitely. No. If Saucy Santana is out here threatening to fight you, he's not trying to fuck you. Yeah, I think, but I do really think that he wants to fight you. And at this point, let's I'd just pull do one up. of these like YouTuber fights. I'd pull up Saucy to Santana versus if DJ a, Academics. Casey, if a girl, if a if a lesbian woman threatened to sexually assault me, it or, doesn't or, or hit fight the me, same because I would still fight her. I would fight her. I'd pull up. I'd no, be like, I think less. I think it would drop be less a pin. Threatening because like oh, yeah. they well one they literally don't have anything to penetrate you unless they use like yeah fair but a still tool. I don't want to be sexually assaulted by anyone girl guy yeah that is weird any lesbian was like oh and I'll fuck you I'd be like that's so odd that's such an odd thing to say <laughs> yeah I'd be like. I'll fight you, but that's about it. <laughs> I mean, I could square up, but like, I draw the line. Like, I'm sorry. Everyone like, should, you know what? Everyone should be fight ready. Cause oh, one, the end of the world is coming soon. We might all get drafted for this fight against the entities that be. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that's going to be the biggest fight. Listen, I don't think we're going to be I there. am not fighting anyone's fight, okay? But what if you're fighting the human being fight Sissy. against aliens? Then take me. Kill me. End it. I'm not fucking living through that. Fuck yeah, it. I feel like, I don't know why, because the movies, I guess, but I always heard this. Whoever gets to who first is the smartest. So if aliens got here, then obviously they're the smarter ones. Therefore, I assume they can take us. Bro, I'm not I'm not fighting for my life to have a worse life. Just end it. I might as well just die. It's well, a better afterlife anyway. You have Fuck to, it. You have to fight. Our ancestors fought for us. What do you mean? So you have to fight for your offsprings. No. Okay. Absolutely not. If if we're getting taken over by aliens, if they come here, we're not winning that fight. So Why would I fight? Your brother or me? I mean, I'd protect you, but if I exactly if, that's you. What fighting. am I supposed to do? Do what we own, all, only what we know how to do. I would step in front of you so I could die two seconds before you. I wonder if bullets. That's work about for it. Them. Or if it's like kryptonite, all I can tonight, like some sort of idiot. metal or something. All I can do is stand in front of you. Once I'm gone, you die too. So like, we shit. I'll catch yeah, you in heaven. Gotta, yes. Got to fight though. I'll ju- I'll protect you. Can't you die a coward. coward. I'm not dying a coward. I'm hovering as a human shield for my okay, family. Okay, there we go. That's, that's that's not me fighting. That's me laying down as no, a No, that's fight. That's a sort of, that's a form of fighting. Fine, whatever. That's my fight. I'm laying my life for my family and that's about all I can do for you. Cuz I'm not fighting no aliens. What? So I can survive so I can be freaking human freaking dissected like like they do here to the aliens. Well, if I'm you good. if you survive, then I assume one of two things. Either they won and now you're a slave. Yeah. Or two, we won and we now have to pick up the pieces of whatever our society looks like. I don't after. even want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to pick up the pieces. You have to. What are you going to do? Just, just sit sit on the bed like freaking New York in that meme? Like, what do you mean? You got to eat. You got to figure it out. I'm hoping I died during the war. <laughs> That's what I'm I wonder if some people are just like, yeah, I'll go to war, but I'm hoping I die. Yeah, like, that's just like, if I, first of all, I don't think that I would be a very inspirational, like, disabled person. So if I, if I went Take to war, and like, I, I, I hear that all the time, and I fucking, like, agree. if I came respect back and I was a people that I respect anyone who could, but I don't think that I would be an inspirational person. Like, I feel like, you're like, it's, like it, it sucks. I had hands, I don't have them anymore. This shit is trash. Like, I feel like that would contribute to a very negative downward spiral for me. I might try crack. Like, that's how I mean, downwards. Might as well. Just but that's what I'm saying. Crack, like, it's heroin. not a life I want to live. I might as well just end it. Wait, I'm going to prolong my life on heroin? Like, fuck that. Is that Take a job they give you when, when, you're, when you're, like, uh, in, what's that What's that called when uh, you're about to go? Hospice. Oh, hospice. Yeah. I don't think they give you heroin. No? <laughs> no. 
Because we do we do euthanasia here, so I wonder like I don't I mean, think obviously those are just to I don't put think you to sleep before I decide die. like but right before like an hour before I decide like this is gonna be the time I'm gonna die. I don't think they're like yeah here let me provide you with free heroin, shoot up, smoke all the crack you want. But you know how they have like Wrinkle medical meth. What if they have medical grain, grade Medi- heroin? Medical grain heroin grade. is fucking oxycotton's. Is that yeah okay there we go. So I've had heroin before. We all kind have. Of. Who yeah. hasn't? Ever, anyone who's ever... If you got a, a, any dental work before, like, 2010, definitely you were fucking on... Before 2015, even. Like, you were on heroin. Biggie if me. you've hurt any part of your body and they gave you painkillers, you were on heroin. Yeah. Blame and the I, government. I think I've had m- or, morphine or something far- when I went... When they put me... When you broke your ankle? They definitely gave you morphine. Yeah. Did you feel anything? No. He was on morphine. <laughs> <laughs> like even the um, what is what do you the epidural? That shit's morphine. crazy. No, I know, but like that's crazy too. Yeah, you can't apparently you feel. can't feel your legs. You can't feel. My friend literally just gave birth, and she was saying how actually it didn't work. I think it's because she was by the time she got the. Um, epidural she was already ready she to push. was basically ready to push yeah. so it was too kick short. It. then after you give birth all of a sudden your legs don't work she was literally saying oh i can't i can feel my legs and tmi but she also had stitches and she told them i can feel the Everything thread you're doing so he had to numb her up some more and last thing she also talked about how the doctor was so nonchalant she's ready to push Telling them, I'm ready to push. The doctors just strolls in, all slow, analyzes, okay, puts his scrub on. I don't like this scrub. I don't like the collar. Give me another scrub. And she's literally like, my baby's head is like, literally God, out of my just, vagina. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you think you're special. I've seen a, f- a lot of this. Like, this is my first time, and I think I'm going to die. <laughs> He's just like, this color's fucked up. Give me another one. He's like, oh, this, doctors are this color so washes, entitled. This color washes me out. Can you get me another and one? And she actually one said, that matches my she's butt. like, I, I yelled at the nurses a few times, but I don't know why. Like, when the doctor came in, like, his presence, his confidence, his entitlement, his arrogance... <laughs> Like, he, like, put me in my place. Like, I was just like, oh, okay, I'm just going to wait. I guess I'll just <laughs> What wait. else can you do? He's <laughs> the doctor. Like, you're just like, all right, I guess I'm not ready to push. Yeah, Shit. so doctors got that. They got that power. They got they got that authority on you. Yeah, they also have the prescription pads, so <laughs> they're living their best life. All right, let's wrap this shit up. All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much for listening or watching. Watch, or, well, watch us on YouTube. Subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Like and follow us on TikTok and, and Instagram. Insta. And listen to our podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Have a nice day. Stay blessed and be nice to each other. <laughs>